Slapstick is a concept that occurs in most classic cartoons. Animating it is not easy, though. It's more complicated than setting up a mouse trap. An indoor locomotive. What will I think of next? Ow! Why did you do that? I just wanted to make the situation more comical. Are you crying? Yes, I'm crying! You hit me with a sledgehammer! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Goodbye, my Coney Island baby. Farewell, my own true love, true love. Bye, honey. She called me Mr. Bombastic, semi fantastic. More, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? Camp Town Racetrack for my long old you die day. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Bad boys, bad boys, what, what you gonna, gonna do? Ride you like a hurricane! I'm a maniac, maniac, that's for sure. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. In the Navy! Come on, people, then make a stand! In the Navy! Can't you say we need a hand? Where did Robinson Crusoe go with Friday on Saturday night? Ha -ha. For the land of the free! And the home of the brave! You all did wonderful. Yo, Henry, Tommy, how you doing? We're fine. I'm just trying to have a decent beverage here, so don't do nothing to aggravate me. Oh, please. If I wanted to aggravate you, I'd tell you to get your shine box. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jimmy, let me tell you something. I've told you time and time again, I don't shine shoes. I never did. Okay, I was just joking with you. You sounded like you were being serious. Okay, you don't shine shoes, I understand. Good. <laughs> Now how about you go and get your shine box? I'm gonna kill you, you ungrateful, miserable little backstabbing excuse for a brother, you! Tommy, calm down! Let me go! Let me at him! Let me at him! Are you done yet? For the twelfth time, no. Are you done yet? You ask me that question one more time, I will rip off your arms and use them as firewood. Finished. Uh, Jimmy, the fireworks attached to your finger. What? <laughs> Yeah, that was good, but I really hated it. How about we try again? On second thought, one is enough. Yeah. Matthew, forgive me for saying this, but we've been hearing that you have a poor sense of direction. What? I do not! Matthew, we're right here. <coughs> yeah, we actually think it's true. That's a lie! Still behind you, buddy. <coughs> I don't think you should deny that particular problem. I don't have a problem. Behind you again. I think you need to see a doctor. Get out. The door's over there. GET OUT! <laughs> Come on, Ryan, what'd you do that for? It was all Franklin's idea. <sighs> Look, I'm trying to relieve myself of all the stress, okay? Hey, Matthew! You know that broken window? We needed some money to repair it, so I had a yard sale. That's great, Rufus. That's great. Yeah, it's just that everything in the sale was yours. Mine, huh? That's nice. You what?! I- No... I am happy. Good, because I sold your clothes, your TV, your lava lamp, your bed, your movies, your food, your photo albums, all the alphabet toys you used to play with. I. Am. HAPPY! All right, you're happy, Mr. Will Ritson. Eep. Quincy, what are you doing up?
I heard tiptoeing downstairs, and I'm about to ask you the same. What are you doing up? Sneaking another carbonated beverage at 12.42 a.m., I see. So what if I'm sneaking a drink at night? I'm not the only one who sneaks food at night around here. Who else does? See? It runs in the family. I bet you sneak food at night, too. I do not! I do not share this distasteful habit with you and the other 199 characters. Suit yourself. <laughs> Aha! Cut you! Shut your hole! <laughs> this isn't over! Ow! Something just pinched my foot! Ow! What the? All right, now to put this away. <coughs> what? If you were wondering what the pinching was all about, I was just putting copyright chips in your feet to make sure nobody steals you. So you injected that thing in our feet without our permission? If I asked you if I could stick this thing in your feet, you would have said no. Well, duh, that thing hurts. You guys are such babies. This doesn't hurt, and I'll prove it to you. I'll do it to myself. See, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm sorry. Oh, they lied to me. They said this thing was pain free. I paid $345 for this thing. You, you got, got swindled. swindled. Whatever. Ow, 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 ow. Matthew, what are you doing? I completely forgot to draw myself with ears, so I'm gonna fix that problem. Now I need to have these implanted in my head. This won't take long, it'll be quick and painless. Is it quick and painless, Jojo? <laughs> Voila! I look like a normal human being. Let's test these out. I didn't know you were a surgeon, Jojo. She's not. Quiet! Why? Freak. This copyright chip implanter is just a large pair of pliers with a needle glued to one of the ends and a taped up copyright symbol on the middle. Wait, so it doesn't work? Precisely. Then what was I implanting in everyone's feet? Stale candy necklace pieces with copyright symbols drawn on them, but I'm so hungry, I say future digestion problems my rump. So what you're saying is, I was swindled out of $345 on a product that doesn't work, and my ideas are left out for someone to steal? Well, I suppose that would be the negative outcome in particular, but... Matthew? Matthew, what are you doing? I can't let my unprotected ideas be stolen by some total stranger! Calm down, nobody's gonna steal us. I mean, really, what kind of person would do that? Okay. Ah! No, Matthew, no! Let me go! I don't want everyone stolen! You guys are all I have! Let's get you to bed. I'll read you a story, okay? <laughs> okay. Hey, Marini, could you come here for a sec? Thanks. All right, I look good. Are you sure? No. Ah! Gotcha. Oh, you got me. You heard him. I got him. <laughs> well, I don't want to toot my own horn, but they don't call me Wacky Quacky for nothing.
but making jokes is a pretty tall order. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not lying. <laughs> my jokes do light up the room, don't they? And it really reflects my prospects. Don't worry, I got more jokes you love to hear. <laughs> You can count on it. No bones about it. And my jokes are never rated R. What is a computer virus? A terminal illness. Hey, you, knock off the flapping. You're driving me bats. What do cars do at the disco? Break dance. Ooh, well said. How many stick figures does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. They stick with the old one. What did you say? What? It was a joke. Hang on, let me get this straight. So you're saying I'm too lazy to screw a light bulb on top of a ceiling? Tell me, I'd rather stick with the situation I'm in? Get out of here, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got him. I almost got him. Close, but no cigar. They don't call him Wacky Quacky for nothing. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Making art, laddie. It's what we do in our spare time when we're not helping you make cartoons. Or listening to your bloody yelling all day. Really? Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny, Wacky. Hey, look at what Victor made. Now this is a masterpiece. I never knew you were good with paint. Matthew, that's not paint. What? Then what is it? It's... Uh, uh... Gazoon tight. Oh, come on, why won't you open? Oh. What's going on? It's Platypus. Hey, Platypus, are you okay? I can't open this. Could you help me, Matthew? <laughs> oh, sure, I'll help you open that. Oh, no, you don't! That's the old snake in a can trick. You think you can prank me with that old gag? Ha! Matthew, you're starting to lose your temper. Maybe you should sit down? Yeah, maybe I should. Very funny! You honestly think I'll fall for that? Oh, come on. You you've got to be kidding me. Who thought they could prank me with this? None of us. It's just a decoy. Yeah, wait. Decoy from what? I'll give you a hint. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Oh, boo. I've heard that joke so many times, it's not even... <laughs> Nacho cheese! <laughs> See? It's cheese, and it's not yours! <laughs> Nacho cheese! <laughs> the end! End the cartoon already! Thank you. Give it up, man. It's been three minutes. Don't try to change my mind, guys. I know this guy has candy. What are you guys doing? And why are you wearing your Halloween costumes? Oh, hey. See, we're going trick-or-treating, right? Wh what? See, we've been ringing the doorbell for the past three minutes, and this mindless idiot won't answer the door. Okay, three things. One, Halloween was three days ago. Two, nobody goes trick-or-treating in the morning. Three, do you know why the mindless idiot who lives here is not answering the door? Um, he's deaf? No, but I suppose that the mindless idiot would like to tell you that THIS IS OUR HOUSE! Oh, so we should go to a different house, or...? I, I can't believe this. Don't worry, guys. If there's anything I've learned from television, it's that we give them the option when we say trick or treat. And since there's no treat... RUN! But, but, this is still our ha- I, you know what, I, I'll just go buy candy. Forget this. You're going to make me ask, huh? Yeah? What are you doing with all these ingredients? Making a sandwich. Wanna try it? Come on, Stanley, you know I'm not into sandwiches. Oh, come on, Matthew. Alright, one bite. Hey, this is actually quite good. What's in it? 
Well, there's spicy jalapenos, chili peppers, black peppers, cayenne peppers, onions, garlic butter, garlic salt, Tabasco, cumin, juniper berries, ginger, cloves, allspice, paprika, mace, and lots and lots of hot sauce. I knew you'd love it! I wonder if it'll taste better with mustard. Ah! NEED WATER! You're gonna make me ask, huh? NO SHUT UP! Stanley, are you sure you have it? We could just play something else for game night. Don't worry, I know I have Twister. It's probably in the other chest. Huh. Never realized I have a lot of trombones. I mean, every trombone I buy just doesn't play well. Oh! Yet I never really kept count of how many I bought. Ryan! Stanley, stop throwing trombones! Oh, alright. Although I do have a lot of pianos. Oh! See ya! Stanley, maybe it's best if I look for the game. But there's still a lot of stuff in here! I gotta take everything out first, don't I? WHY DO YOU HAVE A SINK?! Forget it, I'll look for the game myself. Aha! Bingo! That's not bingo. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Okay, this was a stupid idea. STOP MOVING AROUND! I think I twisted my spine! OW! I told you this was too many players. There's no limit! And besides, the problem started when Victor got left foot yellow. How is that a problem? Because Victor can't get left foot yellow, he doesn't have any legs! Well, don't blame him, he's only four! Fine, spin the wheel. <whistles> left hand green. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it! <laughs> ah! Maybe we should have played Jenga instead. Hey! What happened to your arm? Twister accident. I think I can help you with that. Ow! Why did you hit my arm with a clock? Doesn't time heal all wounds? Get out. What? Get out! Well, I didn't mean to tick you off. I'm gonna clock you in the head if you don't get out! Ow! So are we playing Jenga or no? What happened? Is it broken? I think it malfunctioned or something. It's no big deal. Wait, did my watch stop? Uh, guys, why did all the clocks stop? I think the malfunction froze time. What? Oh, no, 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 heck no. This is bad. Not to worry, Mr. Incredibone. I'll fix our time, but I can't do this without my new sidekick. Sidekick? Who's that? My trusty sidekick, the Masked Worm. Masked wor- Is he one of the characters? His identity is secret. Come, sidekick! I guess he's bad to the bone! Get it? Huh? Huh? Oh, come on! That was a good joke! Lasers! Good work, sidekick! New Year's work. Thanks, Mr. Incredibone. Hey! Did you like my joke? I know you did! You know, you make a very helpful sidekick, Victor. Uh, Matthew? What are you doing? You're all probably wondering why I'm standing under a ladder with an open umbrella, spilled salt, a broken mirror, and a number 13 shirt on Friday the 13th. Yeah? You guys always say that Friday the 13th is an unlucky day. Well, I'm gonna prove you wrong. What? And I thought I was crazy! Matthew, that's kind of a bad idea. Well, that's kind of a bad face! You have horrible comebacks. You guys are so gullible. 
Friday the 13th is just a day. I've been standing here for six hours with all this stuff today. If today's an unlucky day, how come nothing happened to me yet? Because bad luck only comes when you least expect it, mate. That's how bad luck works. Yeah, and this is how ignoring you works. Wow! <laughs> See? What'd we tell you? Okay, you right. What? You right. Come on, bad luck. Is that all you got? <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, 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 Is that all you got? Something tells me that there's gonna be a lot more where that came from. <laughs> wow! You know what? Just back off! <laughs> what? Haven't I suffered enough already? Wh Why is Victor hugging me? Because he loves you, Matthew. We all do. I guess I'm not so unlucky after all. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Hi! Grr! I can't even use one appliance without being surprised by one of you. Man! <gasps> you gotta be flipping kidding me! Jimmy! Henry! Come here! Whoa! What happened here? Some idiot spilled glue all over the paper! Who would do that? Henry, what did you do? Oh, <laughs> I may have had a little trouble with the pencil sharpener. <laughs> did you seriously think we wouldn't find out? I mean, it's just glue, guys. It's no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. That's enough! I'm sorry, Tommy. No! I'm gonna kill you so many times! Hey, 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 calm down. We'll think of a way to get you unstuck. There's only one thing we can do. You're gonna have to reach some things. You can reach all buddy. Go get the pencil. All right. Where is he going? Why do you have that pencil? Don't worry, Tommy. This won't hurt a bit. At least not to my knowledge. What? <gasps> ah! What is wrong with you? You're a flipping psychopath! <laughs> calm down. Watch. Oh, thank goodness. Well, that's that then. And it's a good thing we got you out of that sticky situation. <laughs> come here. <laughs> hey, come on, we don't have to do that. Get over here, you lousy Get over here, you lousy bitch! I swear to God, I'm gonna rip your head off! Hey, Matthew. I have a question. Yeah? How come other cartoon characters in the world have eight fingers, but you drew us with ten? Huh. That's actually a good question. Probably because I- <gasps> Roland?! <clears throat> Why must crashing into things hurt? Roland! What happened?! My mode of transportation's control panel had a malfunction and the turbine is fractured. Huh? 
my spaceship is broken. Oh. I'm just gonna have to sit here until someone comes along to fix it. Why just sit there? I mean, you don't have to be there all day, Space Gecko. How am I going to get around? With your legs? My what? Your legs, Roland. These things? <laughs> <laughs> Roland's first step. <laughs> You've never walked before? What does walk mean? What? Stanley, Roland's been flying around in a spaceship ever since I created him. He's not familiar with walking or any other mode of transportation. You want us to teach you? Never! I don't need to be taught your so-called walk! I can still fly my spaceship! Watch me! Uh, Roland? <laughs> you okay, Space Gecko? Teach me your way of the walk, Master. Could this be a whole new beginning for me? A life on the land? A fresh start for Roland RG402 Space Gecko? Hey Roland! I fixed your spaceship with the orbiting and the flying and the intergalactic travels! Boy, good as new! Roland is back, baby! <laughs> good old Roland. Who are you talking to? Avast! Create your sleeping quarters, ho! Ah. Ah. <sighs> why? Just tell me why! Why would you crash your ship into my room, Captain McMallard? Have a peer at what I plundered from the basement. A treasure map! What? Oh. Uh, Captain McMallard, this map does not lead to what you think it leads to. <laughs> Ye dare dispossess the captain of the map and call me a fool, ye mutinous landlubber? Just get out of my room and take your ship with you. Ye asked for it. And so he crashed his boat into my room just to tell me that he found the map that he thinks leads to treasure. What's next? <laughs> Ahoy, matey. Ye best return the map to the captain if ye know what's good for ye. McMallard, you're insane! I'm not giving you the map! Okay then, I guess you must not be wanting back your hostage! Victor! Surrender the map, or the virus gets it! Fine! If it'll shut your scurvy beak up, I'll give you back the map! Heck, we'll all even help you! Aye, a good decision ye have made. Ye all shall be my hearty crew, and the little beeper shall be my first mate. Penny says she wants to be second mate. Sure, but why? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Couldn't we have just walked to where the map takes us? I don't have the money to fix the floorboards that you're destroying with your boat! We'll have more than plenty of loot to fix your floorboards once we find the treasure. First mate Victor, in which direction do I be turning? First mate? First mate! Much obliged, matey. Ninety-six floor ho! What? You gonna tell me that anchor may be necessary? Yes! This isn't the seven seas, dang it! This is the storage room! The storage room that the map says that the treasure be in! <gasps> Shiver me timbers. The treasure chest! And the X that marks the spot. Captain, before you open that, I have to tell you something. Ye can tell me later, right after I open this chest full of treasure- What?! This isn't treasure! It be junk! Hey, it's not junk! 
A blankie? A toy locomotive? Alphabet blocks? I've been trying to tell you. It's a map to my chest filled with all my childhood memories. My sweet, precious, wholesome, innocent swimsuit magazines. Those are not mine. That could be any Matthew. I... I... I am a horrible person. Wait, if it's not treasure, then why is there a map that leads to this stuff? I forget where some rooms are, okay? It's a 100-story house. Oh, that sailing for naught. Wait. What may this be? Oh, that's one of my old bath toys. It seems to hold some significance in me, I... I mean, you can have it. I don't need it. You mean it? Sure, why not? See? Just because something's not gold doubloons doesn't mean it's not treasure. Thanks, matey. No problem, Captain. You can stop. Your hook is digging into my back. Ha <laughs> ha! I shall call ye the SS McMallard Jr. Well, I suppose we'll be on our way. Tommy, give me the magazine. I know you have it. <sighs> I guess X does mark the spot. STOP IT! STOP STARING AT ME! I KNOW YOU WANT SOMETHING! JUST TELL ME! <sighs> well, we've been wanting to ask you this for a long time. Uh, how did you get this house? What? This house. How did you get a home big enough for all of us? Yeah, and how was it built? McGee? They want to hear the story. The story of how I built the house? Yep. All right, everybody. It all started six years ago. Matthew was 18 years old, and he just moved out of his parents' house. He was looking for a house for us all to live in. <laughs> Matthew had a ridiculous afro back then. What? Back then, he didn't have as many characters as he does now, but we all had to live in separate apartments at the time. One day, Matthew gave me a call. Yeah? McGee. This whole apartment thing isn't working out. It's way too hard for me to make cartoons this way. And not everybody can afford rent. And you're the best construction worker I know. Could you build a house for us all to live in? Oh, sure. I just need to get the tools, materials, and blueprints. And I'm gonna have to make it big enough for our population. Thanks, McGee. You're the best. Alrighty. I need someone to help me with the blueprints. <laughs> oh, wacky, you scared me. Heard you needed help with the blueprints. Can I help? Well, sure. Just make the house big enough for all of us. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I finished the blueprints. I also got some green prints if you want any. Uh, I'll just take the blue prints. Thanks, Wacky. Uh, Wacky, are you sure this is a good idea? I am positive! Alright, let's get started. Sometime later, Matthew came and saw the house. He checked some of the floors. He wasn't too happy over how crazy it was. In fact, he was kind of scared. And when I told him who was in charge of the blueprints... Wacky Quacky... What? I had so little time to build this house and I needed assistance, so I kind of got the nearest character to help me. <laughs> I mean, come on, Matthew. You don't want to go back to that crummy apartment, do you? I know that this house is out of whack, and that the 68th floor looks like a lava lamp. And that the 70th floor looks like a disco room. What about the 69th floor? OH MY GOD! I know. THAT'S MESSED UP! Wacky built most of it, so... <sighs> okay. This is pretty much all we have. I'll take it. 
Is the house finished yet? Yeah, why? I need to use the stairs! What? I need to use the stairs now! <sighs> ah. Um, okay. Thanks, McGee. And that's the story. The end. Wait, what's on the 69th floor? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Oh, they're mature enough to know. The 69th floor is- An empty floor! That's what it is. But that floor has a la 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 la. They do not hear you talking. La 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 la. What a worry wart. Almost and ha. Perfect. Hi. Wait. What the? Oh no. Oh. Ha ha. Fifty yards. <laughs> Touchdown! What? Ah! I need to calm my nerves and get to sleep. Maybe I can just stare at the goalposts and. Goalposts? It's good! I'm not happy. Ah! Ha! Extra point! Heh. <laughs> What's the matter, sleepless beauty? Prince didn't come? Heh <laughs> heh. Whatever. What's the matter with you anyway? And what? Why are you eating french fries for breakfast? BECAUSE I WANT TO! COUNT QUARTERBACK YOULA KEPT ME UP ALL NIGHT! You don't have to yell! And how did he keep you up all night? He- oh, TOUCHDOWN! I'm just gonna go. Cal, what the heck is wrong with you?! Why are you throwing that stupid football everywhere?! Well, it's what I do. And besides, it's football season. Football sti- Who have you been playing football with?! Yourself?! No. Him. Who's that? <gasps> Victor! How could you? Hey, he may be four, but he throws like a pro. Show him, kid. Wait! <laughs> well, he's a better thrower than a kicker, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I get it! <laughs> Do I look amused to you? You fang faced football freak! You cannot play football in the house! Well, where else am I gonna play football? Hmm. How about outside where football is normally played? Um, Matthew, I don't think you understand. Count! If you wanna play football, go outside! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, Matthew, did Count Quarterbackula just go into the sunlight? Yeah, he can't play football in the house, and why was he screaming like that? You realize he's a vampire, right? I know that! What does him being a vampire have to do with him acting like the sunlight hurts it? Oops. I'm sorry, Count, I forgot vampires are hurt by sunlight. It's okay. Hurt by sunlight, huh? Sounds like someone's under the weather! I'll show you weather! Hey! Ha ha! It's good! Extra point! Ha ha! See? This way the umbrella can protect him from the sun so it won't hurt him. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm a genius. Uh, Matthew, we got another problem. What? No. Please? No. Come on, it'll only be for a couple of minutes. I said no! Come on, it's simple. I'd rather dunk my hands in a vat of hot boiling lava. Do it then. What the? Where did you get that? If you would rather burn your hands in lava, then prove it. I... I... Ah! Fine! I'll play hide and seek with you guys. Find your hiding spots, and put that lava back in the volcano where you got it from! Jeez! 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, ready or not, here I... whatever. You know, I always hated this game as a child. I never found anybody. No matter how hard I looked, I was always the sore loser. Who am I even talking to?! I'm not gonna find anybody in this big house! 
Forget this. I'm going to bed. What? Carter? What are you doing in my bed? You found me. Wait, what? Did... Did I just find someone? Well, yeah, that's how hide and seek works, dude. I... I did it! I found someone for the first time! I'm not a sore loser! I will win! Um, good for you, I guess? really good at this! You found 318 characters! Actually, 319. I just found Victor. Alright, so that leaves... Uh-oh. What? Who's left? Wacky Quacky. What? That lunatic duck? Yep, that shapeshifter's difficult to spot. You'll probably never find him. Horse feathers! Horse what? That crazy duck thinks he's the master? Heh, <laughs> I'll find him in no time. I know he's here! Where's that crazy duck? Matthew, maybe you should just give up. It's been two months. You've looked everywhere. Not under the house! Wait, what? No! Here I come, duck! Ready or not! <laughs> I told you guys to get rid of this lava! Hey! Hi! Ah! Did you miss me? You were the lava the whole time! Yep! What? Didn't you lava playing this game? <laughs> I... I really am a sore loser. Hey! So you didn't find all of us, but you found over 99% of us. You did your best, and to me, that's not losing at all. Aw, thanks, Wacky. You know, it's really nice to hear something like that come from you of all people. And you're eating my chair. <laughs> well, at least all that is over. And it's a good thing I didn't do anything too crazy. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Dude, you lifted the house. Oh, what fresh heck is this? Matthew, don't distract me, man. I'm keeping an eye on my diamond. No, I'm keeping an eye on my diamond. You found a diamond? Yes. At the same time? Yes. yes. And now you're fighting over who gets it. Again? Yes. yes. Whoever keeps their eyes on the diamond longer gets it. Why don't you just split it? Split what I found? Never! Wait, do over! Do over! Ha! I win! Oh, hey! Keep your hands off my diamond, fool! It belongs to me, man! You want some of this, fool? Hey, guys, come on. Anger doesn't solve anything. What? You of all people are saying that, man? Are you serious, fool? Hey! This isn't about me! This is about you! This is more about him than me. Oh, really? You wanna go that route? Fine, then! Penny! Me and Roy are gonna settle this like men. You watch the diamond. Oh, really, fool? So now you getting someone else to take your side? Pfft, I... Yo, Victor! Stay here and watch the diamond, fool! No, 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 Penny's watching the diamond! Can't they both watch the diamond? Fine! Fine. Make, Make sure, sure that, that this kid doesn't backstab you! We're, We're going, going to have an adult conversation. conversation! I'm sorry you two got dragged into this. 
So you think you're a wise guy, huh? I'm more wise than you, folks. You think you own that diamond? No, I'm saying you don't own it. Man, the only thing you own is poor fashion sense. Folks, I look fly, man. You look plummet like a rock. Are you saying that because emus can't fly? Oh, you being kept on the ground by your own stank! What did you just do? Well, look who's on the ground now. Did you just punch me, fool? What's the matter, hound dog? Can't take it like a man. Fool! I'm a bust! I want you, man! I'm ready to get your way home! Fool! You don't have to hit me, fool! Give up yet? Nah. You? Nah. What... What time is it? Hold on. Why are you blowing that stupid air horn at three in the morning? It's three in the morning. You could have just looked at your watch. So you run off with the diamond while my eyes are on the watch? Heck no! Hey, can I see the air horn for a sec? Ooh, I like how the- ah! You crazy fool! It's not worth fighting over, just split it! I'm not splitting what I found first. You asking for more punk? Will you stop fighting before you wake up the whole house? Matthew, your screaming is louder than the air horn. Yeah, see? If anything, he should've hit Wait you a minute. Hole. I'm not the one who blew it. You should've just looked at your watch. It's fake! For what? Roy, Otis, where was this diamond when you found it? On the sidewalk, a couple blocks away. Was that particular section of the sidewalk in front of a garage sale? Yard sale. Yeah, the one where they were selling those free film props. Film props. Is that why there's a price tag that says free on it? I was wondering about that. Oh, why would you do that? Real diamonds aren't that fragile. This broke easily. It's a prop. A fake. But, Hold up. But we didn't we know. We could have sworn it seemed it looked, like a, we thought we it was a real. The... <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Me too. What have we become? See, valuables aren't everything. We all got each other, and that's what matters, right? Yeah, you're right. I guess we don't really need- Hold up, foe! Is that a gold bar across the street? Oh no! It's mine! Don't you lunatics ever learn anything? I really need to take a vacation. Oh, hey, Matthew! Where have you been? Eh, not many places. Just visited the Webtoon Hall of Fame across town. Webtoon Hall of Fame? What's that? Oh, it is fantastic. It's where statues of cartoon characters from many different web series across the internet are displayed so they can be remembered and appreciated for eons to come. Wow! Was there a statue for you? No. What? Oh, Matthew, I'm sorry! Nah, nah, don't be, Stanley. It's nothing. But you deserve acknowledgement! Nah, I'm not upset. I'm not even that deserving yet. <laughs> so, you're okay? Yes, Stanley. I'm perfectly fine. Ah! It's not fair! I worked so hard! Ah! This isn't right! How dare they leave out Matthew! Roy! Sup? I need your help. With what? I need you to help me steal the statue from the Legend Hall of Fame. What?! You crazy fool! Why would I help you do that? They're neglecting Matthew, Roy. They think he's not good enough. We need to teach them a lesson. You with me? Fine. But if Matthew gets all mad over this and starts screaming again, I was not involved, foe. Everything by everyone but me. I Deal. Aight, man. This the place? Yeah. I Just give me a minute. Need to pick the lock. Maybe I can use this old hairpin to- Foe! Why'd you do that, man? We don't have time for lock picking. We have business to take care of. Take every statue in this building. I ain't fool. Stanley, why are you smiling like that? It's creepy. 
Oh, I thought you might need some cheering up after last night and all. No, I don't feel like cheering up. Well, you're definitely gonna cheer up now because you're gonna love what I did. What the heck are you talking about? Ah! Ow! Surprise! Huh? Wh wait, what? Stanley? What have you done? I had all the statues taken from the Webtoon Hall of Fame and put here. Wh why Why would you do that? Because, Matthew, your Webtoon deserves acknowledgement. And if your statue can't be in the Webtoon Hall of Fame, then none of them can. Think of this as a favor. After this, they'll realize how important you are. Then they'll be sorry. Maybe they'll have your statue in gold or platinum. Whatever you think is best. TAKE THESE STATUES BACK RIGHT NOW! Listen, I'm legally responsible for what you guys do! If I go to jail because you stole these statues, I'm gonna haunt you in your dreams for the rest of your life! <sighs> yes, sir. You almost done, guys? Almost, fool. I can't believe we did all that for nothing. Last one. Did you put all of them in the truck? Yeah. Are you still mad? Yes! What you did was unbelievable, Stanley! I thought better of you! I'm sorry, Matthew. It's just that you were upset and- Stanley, I'm not the most important person in the world. Every cartoon on the internet deserves acknowledgement. So what if I'm not there? Big deal. I probably don't deserve to be in that hall. But I'll get over it. You understand, right? Yes. Good. Now let's get these statues back before we get- Caught! Oh boy, I ain't going no jail! I'm getting out of here too! Guys! Broadcast yourself, fool! Hey guys! Henry? What are you- Oh, I got an internship last month. So, how have you been? The statues are in the truck, aren't they? Just have me arrested. Get it over with. Arrested? You did us a favor! What?! We're closing that place down. People keep making new webtoons every day, and we cannot make any more statues. That place was full! That's why we couldn't put in this one! <gasps> they... They know I exist?! Yeah, that one was in the back. <laughs> Thank you so much! You're crushing me! Wait! You can't shut it down! Webtoons still need to be acknowledged! Well, how else are we supposed to represent them? Statues didn't work! Maybe portraits? Like, small portraits? 8 by 10s So they won't take up a lot of room? You'd be able to represent thousands more webtoons. Heh. <laughs> Should have thought of that in the first place. I'll tell them about this. Thanks, man. Huh. I guess everything's okay. Are they gone, fool? Yeah, but we're gonna have to put these statues in storage until I can figure out what to do with them. Can you help us? I'll help you, Matthew. Thanks, Stanley. Finished. What? Ah! Victor! Oops. Sorry, Matthew. I didn't mean it. It's fine. Heh! <laughs> Having a little virus trouble, huh? Can you just leave me be, man? I gotta repaint this wall. I can't believe Victor sneezed and we're all over it. Ugh, this is disgusting. I know he doesn't mean it, he's just a child, but ugh, this frustrates me. You've got no one but yourself to blame, man. Myself? What do you mean? You created him, right? Yeah? What's your point? Doesn't that make you responsible for him having these problems? 
How could you say that to me, Ryan? Telling it like it is. Oh, back off! Do you really think I wanted this? I didn't! You were the one who made him a computer virus in the first place! That was your decision, Matthew! Victor being a virus was never a decision! He was never supposed to be a virus in the first place! He was an accident! <gasps> wait, wait, Victor, no! That's not what I meant! And the award for cartoonist of the year goes to... Victor, wait! Victor? Victor? Huh? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. I? I was an accident? No, Victor, you were not an accident. You becoming a computer virus was an accident. Huh? What do you mean? I suppose I should tell you the story. Story? You see, when I make a cartoon character, this process is hard to explain. See, I think of a character to make. I design them on paper and make model sheets. I scan the sheets to my computer and I finalize the character's age, size, personality, and so on. I save the file and here's where it gets interesting. I connect my computer to the animated lifeform printer in my office. Animated lifeform printer? It's kind of like a 3D printer. It's what I use to bring my cartoon characters to life. All 320 of you. I have enough characters so I don't use it anymore. <laughs> But, why did you make so many? Because I thought if I had a ton of characters, my series would be more popular. But then I realized that it's not quantity that makes a series great, it's quality. Oh. But how did I become a virus, though? It was four months ago. You were character number 318. I thought I had finished designing you when I clicked print, but I forgot to color you in. So during your printing process, I found a program online that could color a character while it was still in the printing process. I downloaded and activated the program, but then I found out the program had a <laughs> bug. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no! <gasps> um, hello? I was so happy that you were alive. What you? Even though you were, well, corrupted. <laughs> A new one? Yeah. Haven't named him yet, though. You know something? You remind me of Victor Frankenstein, with the creation of life and whatnot. Glyvin. Victor. I like that name. And that's the story. Victor? Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. Well, I'm... I'm gonna let you think about it, okay? Okay. Can I tell you something, Penny? Sure, what is it? Matthew said I wasn't supposed to be a virus. Huh? Were any of us meant to be who we are? Were Mel and Joe meant to be conjoined? Was Chompy meant to be 25 feet tall? Was Wacky Quacky meant to be a lunatic who bounces all over the place? Well, it's less bouncing and more floating. Creepy. But Victor, don't be ashamed of who you are. None of us are perfect, but we are who we are. And we're all here for each other no matter what. That's all that matters. You know, I actually feel a lot better now. Thanks, Penny. What? You're so cute. Oh. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> Come here, you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> Penny, that's Tickles! Cut it out! <laughs> he hates me. He hates me! <sighs> this is all my fault. Calm down. Pull yourself together, Matthew. 
You're not Matthew. Huh? The real Matthew wouldn't have stooped this low. What? You thought quantity over quality. Now you're stuck with them forever. How stupid are you? That's not the main matter here. It's Victor. He's hurt right now. Why care about Victor? Why care about any of them? They're not your family. Yes, they are. <laughs> Why? Why are you deluding yourself? What do you expect to gain from this? Some trophy? Those monsters are getting you nowhere! What am I supposed to do? Abandon them. All of your stress can go away if you just do one simple thing. Walk out the front door. No. Fine. But don't complain if Victor never forgives you for what you did to him. It's your fault. Your fault. Huh? Your fault. What? No! Your fault! Your fault! Your fault! Your fault! No! 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 I didn't mean to... Why? Huh? Victor? Why did you make me this way? Victor, I, I'm sorry. Sorry, can't it fix me. Victor? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! You. you let me down. This is all your fault. No! 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 I failed you. This is all my fault. I'm the reason you're like this. You have every right to hate me. Huh? I don't hate you, Matthew. You didn't mean it anyway. I know I'm not perfect, but nobody's perfect. I'm not ashamed of who I am, and you shouldn't be either. We are who we are, and we're here for each other no matter what. That's all that matters. Aw, Matthew, it's okay. You can cry if you have to. You don't have to hold it in. <laughs> Feel better? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go get a glass of water. Yeah, me too. Hey. Yeah? Was Mr. Incredible meant to be a skeleton? Oh boy. <laughs>